Hi guys, so today I am giving a very basic makeup lesson. Um, I am one of those girls who loves makeup, um, I think the majority of us do, um, but I'm really useless at putting it on. Um, I just kind of know the, the very basics in terms of foundation, and then I put on some bronzer, mascara, eyeshadow, eyeliner, lipstick, um, and that's me pretty much done. Um, I'm more than happy to spend more time doing my makeup, but I just don't know what to do. Um, and when I hear these girls spending like half an hour plus of doing their makeup, I, it just baffles me. Cause I'm like, what are you doing? Like, what is this time that you're spending? Um, and obviously there's loads of kind of tutorials on contouring at the moment, um, defining your face and um, eyebrows. Literally, I am so rubbish at doing my eyebrows. Every time I do my eyebrows, I look like a clown. I feel like, they're so wow and it just looks ridiculous it looks so fake and so unnatural on me um that i literally just go over what um i don't really do it during the day it's just kind of when i'm on a night out i'll go over it with a very basic um eyeshadow and that's essentially all I do. There's probably um, much better things you can do, but for me that works. So anyway, the reason for this tutorial is because I um, got given a um, 500 dirham um, Bobbi Brown voucher. And with that voucher came a free makeup tutorial. Um, I've never had a makeup tutorial and um, I've never spent any time kind of researching how to do your makeup so like this is amazing let's do this before the babies come and um, to be honest I'm probably not going to have any time whatsoever when the babies are born and um, to do my makeup but um, it's something that I've always wanted to know um, my main question to the makeup artist was how do I get my makeup to stay longer um, I hear people talk about a base um, and you put like a primer on and then you put your foundation and then you do another kind of like staying powder all this sorts of stuff and um, it's always kind of been whoop, over my head so um, based on the lesson that I had in um, Bobby Brown um, I am going to go over quickly um, what I learnt and um, I think I ended up spending, I think my voucher was 500 dirhams and I ended up spending an additional 500 dirhams. Um, I really didn't realise how expensive it was, I was like okay I'll get this and this and this and um, kind of expecting to pay maybe a couple of, maybe 100 dirhams more and she was like yeah it's an additional 500 so um, I didn't realise Bobby Brown was expensive as it was but um, if the products are worth it, um, obviously I'm happy to pay. Um, I'm going to say I don't think um, maybe the value is necessarily important, but the products themselves. Um, so when I'm going through these products now, I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. It's just the products that I've used today to get my face looking how it is. And the light isn't really that great. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to basically go over what I learnt and um, the main steps on getting your makeup to last longer. So the first thing um, that I bought is this Bobbi Brown Hydrating Face Cream. Um, and essentially, I think this was around 300 dirhams, so I really don't think it's probably worth that much because that's a lot of money. Um, but essentially what she was saying is that um, a primer is really important because that's what helps keep the makeup in place. And that does make sense. I did ask her what is the difference between this 300 dirham pot and then just a normal, normal moisturizer. And she said that there's a certain formula in this cream that makes your makeup stick. If that's true or not, I don't know, but um, she obviously saw me coming and <laughs> I ended up purchasing it. But what I would say, if you don't want to invest in a primer, um, do put a um, moisturizer on your face because this does make sense. Um, I can imagine that your foundation goes on a lot smoother with the moisturizer on and I guess it kind of does help set it in place. So yeah, so that's the first thing that I put on my face today. And then, um, obviously she said, um, your normal foundation, like, my foundation is mixed between two or three different ones that I've had over the years. I've had this pot, and um, no brand, and basically I mix my foundation in here to get it the right colour for me, so obviously it's entirely up to you what foundation you use. Um, she did say the best way to apply your foundation is with a brush. With fingers, sometimes your um, makeup can smear. Um, obviously, then you're getting it on your fingers as well, which isn't ideal. Um, benzing brush, obviously, is something else that she said you could use. But um, I just ended up buying um, this makeup brush. So she said, um, 
what you do if you just want it on during the day and obviously in the day you're probably going for a slightly different look than what you're doing in the evening is just kind of blending it in um i would obviously dab my foundation in the pot this is why i quite like it because it's a pot or maybe um if it's a squirty on tube put it onto your hand and then dab it on from your hand and just kind of like blend it in she said if you want to build your foundation i.e make it stronger so obviously that's for a nighttime look and it's looking more intense, then you really kind of like dab it in. Um, obviously when you're blending it, you're gonna use less and it's gonna look more natural. So that's the look that I was going for today. Um, I, um, yeah, wanted it to look natural, so that was my key. Um, and then the other thing to use after you've done that is your setting powder. And um, this is just called Bobbi Brown um, Sheer Finish Press Powder. Um, again, this makes sense to me as well, because obviously once you've got your foundation, which is liquid based, it does make sense that if you set it with a powder, it will stay longer. Um, the key she said to using this is wait till your foundation dries. And she said that's like four or five minutes um, or sometimes blot it with some tissue. So, OK, I've never done that. Um, so this is what I did. I waited for my foundation to dry and then I used a big brush like this. Um, this is from Sephora, um, and just kind of dabbed, dabbed it all over me. Um, and she just said, basically, this has got no colour, so even if you go over the top with it, it doesn't matter because it's not going to change the colour of your foundation. Um, and that's basically just setting it. Um, the next thing I did is um, she taught me a little bit about contouring. Um, I have tried contouring. I had this basic kick that kit that I got from it was some Fora but I can't remember the brand and again just looked like a clown it just didn't work for me I do not have the capability I do not have the skills um, so I said to her just give me a really kind of basic 101 in contouring so essentially what she said um, the key is the brush obviously you can see this brush is um, narrow it's quite thick as well um, I've got a bronzer here, it's um, Makeup Forever, um, and it's quite dark in colour. Um, so essentially, she said, just kind of put that onto your brush and do it just above your cheekbones. Um, and it's kind of as simple as that, don't go over the top, just kind of do that once or twice, and then you've got the definition there. And then she said she gave me another tip and um, then we have your highlighter and she said with your highlighter just go underneath and also maybe use your highlighter under the eyes to make them lighter and to make them bigger like, oh, okay again I've never ever used a um, concealer and um, very fortunate um, I've never needed to and I thought a concealer was just for spots but she was like no 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 it's um, a great highlighter so this is Bobbi Brown intensive skin serum concealer I don't know if I don't think it's, it's um this one's warm ivory and essentially what she did was put like a few dots here a few dots here and then some dots under my eyes and um she blended that in with her fingers um so obviously we had the darker line here from the bronzer and then we had the lighter concealer here which was all kind of blended in with the fingers um, and then she said the kind of finish to that, um, which again, we're going back to the same brush, is this kind of, I guess it's, um, it's five different tones here. This is called Bobbi Brown's Shimmering Brick Compact. Um, so, yeah, so essentially this is my highlighter. And she said, with a highlighter, be very careful. Some people want to put it all over their face, but that's wrong, um, which is probably what I've been doing. You just want to put it... Um, again just above your cheekbone here and this then just kind of highlights the um, highlights the cheekbone and defines it and she said you can also put a little bit of highlighter here and then down the nose so if you were going lighter essentially she said go under your eyes under your cheekbone and um, Essentially, that was all she did for me because, like I said, I'm just talking about your very basic. Um, and your darker lines would be just on your cheekbone and then on the sides of your nose if you wanted to define your nose. Um, so essentially, that was that. Um, she said if you want to go one step further, then you can finish it with a kind of um, finishing spray. Um, and I got a prep and prime. Um, this one here is from MAC and it's got a really kind of nice rose scent to it 
again I really don't know if that makes any difference but I have heard people saying that a setting setting spray does kind of um, keep it all together um, so yeah essentially that is it um, for my eyes all I did I had my mascara and um, this is just Mac standard um, standard mascara nothing special about this and then an eyeliner it's a pencil I have used all your different types of eyeliners, the liquid ones, um, the pen ones that go on, um, and I just think a really nice sharp pencil for me is um, the easiest to use and it's the most effective. Um, and then for my lips, all I did was use a lip liner. Again, this is something that I would do if I had more time. Obviously, if you're just at home, you're not going to bother with any of this stuff, but on a night out, you want your makeup to last. So I would always bother investing in an eyeliner, um, eyeliner, a lip liner, and spending the time to do it. And this one is kind of like a nude color from Kristen Dior. Um, and I just feel like it defines the lips, it kind of plumps them out a little bit, and it helps the lipstick stay longer. Um, so this isn't really to color my lips so much, it's just to help with um, making the lipstick long lasting. My favorite lipstick, um, is this one from um, Chanel. It's really, really bright pink, and I just feel like it's a great pick-me-up. And um, for me, lipstick is kind of my key one makeup piece. If I had to go to a desert island and I was asked that question, which piece of makeup would you use? I think it would be a tie between mascara and lipstick, because I feel like you put on a bit of bright lipstick, and it really kind of refreshes me, and kind of that bit of pop of color that really kind of um, makes me feel better. So um, yeah, I put this on. This is very bright, um, and I haven't put the full effect on for this tutorial because it is, yeah, quite a bright lipstick. But what I did to finish it all off is a little bit of gloss. I love using gloss, but I never use it. It doesn't really make sense. Um, but I just never feel it lasts. I might put it on if I'm going out, I'm leaving the house, but I feel like after one or two sips of my white wine, um, the gloss is gone. But just for the sake of this video, I thought, oh, well, let's give it a try. Um, so this is just a Dior gloss. And um, to be honest, I really do love the effect. It does make my lips feel a lot more um, juicy, appealing, attractive. Um, I'm not sure what, what the word is. But yeah, it definitely does look nice. But I don't think gloss lasts. Maybe I'm using the wrong gloss or the wrong technique. But um, essentially, um, that is it. So it's using your foundation. Um, you, sorry, before you use your foundation, you make sure you use your primer, whether that's a moisturizer or a special primer that you buy from a shop, that's entirely up to you. Um, once you put your um, moisturizer on, let it dry, then put your foundation on. Um, use your foundation with a brush. And then once that's dried, let's say five minutes, then you put your powder on which I'm opening the wrong one, and I'm running out of hands as well. Your finishing powder on top of your foundation. Always make sure you get a nude one because you don't want one that's got color because that could really change the color of your foundation, and if you overdo it, then you're going to look like a clown. And once you've done that, it's entirely up to you if you want to go to the stages of um, defining your face, like I was saying with the contouring, if you want to go with the stripes, which is your darker one here, your lighter one underneath, and then you blend it all together. Or if you want to just go, I don't think I brought it downstairs with me, but if you just want to go with a bronzer and kind of put that all over your face, um, it's entirely up to you. And then, yeah, I just use eyeliner and some mascara, and that is it. Um, that is my... Um, basic basic makeup lesson i am no expert in makeup whatsoever and i will never claim to be it's just that i had that lesson with bobby brown and um, i thought it was really interesting i never knew the three different stages or the four different stages i guess if you include the finishing spray so that's your um, your base your primer your foundation your setting powder and then your bronzer and then your spray so it does seem like a very laborious um, process. I would never ever bother to do that if I was going to work. Um, but for a night out, obviously, if you're wanting your makeup to stay and you know you're kind of on the dance floor and sweating, obviously, it's quite important. So I, I definitely will do those stages in the future for um, big occasions. Um, but for every day, 
let's be honest, who can be bothered to do that? Um, so yeah, that is my lesson. I hope you found it um, somewhat useful. And um, thanks for listening. <laughs>